Assalamu alaikum, I am Sadia Sharmin and today I will take the legal aspect of business chapter 1, lecture 1. Um, in this chapter, I mean, legal aspect of business, uh, legal aspect of business, we will see why legal, legal issues are so important for the business, why as a business student we need to read the legal issues. What is the objectives of this? Uh, this chapter, why we should read this chapter, first we have to clear it. When you do study this material, you will be able to understand why do we need to learn business law, why business law is so important for the business students. Appreciate the distinguished feature of legal rules, then understand the characteristics of law, state in purpose and distinguish between civil and criminal law. <coughs> Why do you study business law? No one, if you want to live in a civil society, you must know the laws and regulation to lead a decent life. So, as a business person, you are not uh, apart from this. For this, you need some basic, uh, or when you are starting doing business, there is some law regulation to conducting a business. So, that business law is so important for business person or business professional. Throughout a business existence, it can be most thing that a person can do and we need laws to control those activities. We need to control those activities. A business can buy, sell property. When you are starting doing business, you need to do buy and sell of the property. You need to do buy and sell of the uh, products. You need to buy and sell of the services. When the business started to doing the buy and selling of the property, sue and be sued enter into a contract hire and fire of employees, even commit crimes. When, or sometimes it is shown that there are some uh, crim, uh, crimes is happening in, uh, in part of the employees or maybe or say maybe some laws is break by the himself so that these things is not occurring in future. So as a business person and business professional must business, uh, the knowledge of business law is must. We need business law to cover all these activities. So the business can operate in some measure of predictability. Predictability means in the predict, in predictability we can predict the future, what is happening the next move. So predictability is so important. For example, suppose you wanted to open a shoe factory. If I open to a shoe factory, I require a land. I, I need to I need to hire people. I need to build up a structure. I need to uh, I I. For this, I have some legal issue which I need to clear. For example, for the property, I need to buy it. So, so I need to have a clear that there is a no one right is in this property. When I uh, go for the construction, the construction should be made as per the standard or the standard rules of the government. Uh, when I hire the employee for my work, it should be as per the labor law of the country. As per the labor law of the country, when I purchasing machinery equipment for my business, it should be in a clear pathway, it should be all the tax should be paid, no rules are the very, uh, violated when I started the business. So now go to the formal definition. For example, suppose we wanted to open a shoe factory, we need to buy a piece of property, build your factory, which will be very expensive. Of course, there is a some cost investment over there without establishing predicting a proper, uh, property law that that ensure that you are legal owner of the land. So, when you start your business, it should be ensured that the land should be legally, legal owner of the land it should be mine. So, for this, I should be clear of the, uh, I should, uh, it have to, I have to clear all the legal formalities. We would be very reluctant to build up the factory. You can't be reluctant to build up the factory. There would be always some risk that someone else would come along, came to your factory property and factory as their own. If you can't clear this uh, the, all sort of legal issue, there is someone will come and claim this property. This, if you want to avoid these things happen in the future, you should, you have to, you should clear all the legal clarity of this land and then you start the build up the factory. This same is true for all other business activities. You would not ship shoe to the retailer. You can't ship or you can't ship to the retailer or distribute to the retailer. You had to force them to pay for the goods. 
until and unless your retailer or distributor get the goods, you can't force them to pay your money. We would not employ without some means of firing them if they didn't do their job. We would not hire employee without some means. Labor, if you can't fulfill the labor law, you can't hire employees. Uh, you have to need to get, pay the salary. You need to uh, follow some, uh, you need to ensure the health and safety standard, all these things. Without ensuring that it cannot be happen. Which you would hire employee without some means of firing them if they don't do their job. In other words, it is important to enter into a contract with the means of enforcing an agreement. In other words, when you are doing any business, you need to do an agreement with your employee in your distribution channel, in your supplier, so that agreement is proven that on the basis of this condition you are doing the business, you are not doing any unlawful things and there is no unlawful contract between you and your supplier, retailer, employees and all. In the social and economic and law perspective, why I need to business, why I need to learn business law? You could see law as a framework for rules. Law, what is law? Law is a framework of rules which guide us to follow the rules and regulation which is imposed by the government to us. Why government has to impose this law and regulation? As, a, as we are living in a civil society for maintaining the civilization, for maintaining the basic civic, uh, civic um, uh, rights for of others and me the government need to enforce some law and regulation to all you could see law as the framework of rules in which a society operates many aspects of society are directly indirectly related to economics your job renting or buying a house starting or running a business doing grocery trade travel etc Inability many branches of law related to economy, labor law, corporate law, etc. Hence law must be changed the basic social and economic needs. Law should be made as per the requirement of the social society and the economic needs. Law can be changed as per the change in the society. A better understanding of society through a better understanding of economics could help you to better understand of the design of legal system. If you un try to understand the, why these steps of law in this society, before that you need to understand the, what is the social circumstances of the society, what is the economical circumstances of the society. Based on this, the society rules are made, but law are made. It would be help you to model and predict the practical implication of legal changes. It could help you to find potential improvement of the law. In fact, there is a special branch of both economic and law where the field are brought together, law and economics, sometimes called the economic of law and economic analysis of law. It would help you to model and predict the practical implication of legal changes. What is the practical? I can make a many types of law. If there is no practical implication of this law, this law is not fruitful or this law is not working. It could help you to find potential improvement of the law. What is the potential improvement of the law? Why this law is so important for the society? Why the law is, why this law has impact and this impact can create any improvement in the society? If it can happen, that, that time we can ensure that the law is working. Otherwise, if I made a law, if a country made, uh, I mean the country, if the country made a law and this law has, doesn't have any implication and can't change any improvement in the society, this law, that means this law is not working. In fact, there is some special branch of both economic and law where the field are brought together, law and economic, sometimes called economic of law and economic analysis of law. Example changes in the rules of society, changes in law, Middle Age in Europe, the landlord, the federal system of prevail at the same, at that time the right of the present were restricted. In modern times, feudal system is no longer restricted. In the British period, there is some laws which is uh, very much unethical and as far they are the colonial period, they are come to uh, rule us. So that Times law is not applicable nowadays. If still this law is running, we say that we are violating our human rights. So, as per the changes of the economy, as per the changes of society, the law must be changed. Before that, the change is the feudal system, which means the Shoira Chari Shakal, but the Lord, landlords or the 
lords of the country can make the made any types of law and regulation as per their benefit but nowadays the days is changes there is no feudal system so people are, human rights is more, must be preserved must be give so there is a law and regulation as per the requirement of the society and economy changing on the law why law is changes as the phase of time law is changes in many reasons if there is a changes in the society if there is a changes in the economy if there is a political changes if there is a technological change the law need to change what is the technological changes now it is there is a digital uh, there is a with the use of the uh, very, uh, lots of social media is coming lots of social sites we are using for this the technology has a very huge impact on us uh, for using this social media or by using this social uh, sites sometimes we violate the other rights so sometimes we create other lives miserable for this the digital security act uh, law is coming or there is some law is coming for secure the others right changing the law social changes first of all if society is changed we need to right before that people are not very much concerned about their human rights nowadays people are very much concerned about their human rights people are educated so they are cautious about their rights and uh, rights and um, responsibilities so the laws must be changed as per their changing in the society change in the moral values have influential a number of legal development in the last 30 years plus that is there is a tremendous change including reform the divorce law there is a divorce law is coming discrimination of homosexuality and abortion as well as the introduction of legislation to prevent discrimination on the ground of sex race sexual orientation disability religion belief or is no one can discriminate to create discrimination to anyone based on this issue because all people are the equal rights in this world all people have uh, all the people has the same human rights as the other people have all people has the right to live in a better place in a better society so the laws and regulation can make contradictory to, to these issues what is this is the based on the right of the uh, divorce there is a, both party can divorce then if they can adjust to it anyone before that there is a one party can give other party can divorce law is very uh, complicated now this make it easy so that can it, it can be go easily political changes no government can initiate new policies no government can issue the divorces unless it has legal authority to do so unless it, it has some legal authority so it can be done this means the law may require constant of and radical changes the privatization of the water gas electricity industry was achieved by the repeal previous legislation which has introduced policy of a nationalization before that the gas water all are done nationalized organization but government can pass the uh, laws and make it go for the privatization because the, it can say that the this uh, organization is facing lot lot of losses the losses is imposed on the government why the government get his uh, income what what is the income of the government government income is come from his people taxation so ultimately the burden is to the people so if you can reduce the burden of the people so this company should be go for the privatization so that they can ensure the uh, ensure the profit and mark up make up the losses which is happening last few years so ultimately the all the losses is bearing by the public of the country so this type of privatization decision can sometimes take for the betterment of the society economical and technological changes much of the law governing commerce industry including regulation health and safety work but health and safety issue is the vital issue nowadays because we can say that there is a many organization can maintain the health and safety issue and there is a some tremendous accidents has happened happen in case of our rana plaza we are seeing that the safety standard is not maintained so that there is a huge number of people is died so it is a, now it is for sake of the people for sake of the saving the life of the people and health and safety safety act what is so important without that there is a no factory can run and subject to such employ industry and practices change old hazard disappear new one developed for example commercial exploration 
in the international cooperation engine has led to the development of huge body of road traffic law. There is some commercial explanation of the internal cooperation that there is a road traffic law has been changed because there is a huge number of people is moving, there is some exploration and happening in some countries. After that they need to rethink the law, what is the law should be made, so reduce this traffic, traffic uh, accidents will be less. So the law is changed as per the requirement of the demand of the time, demand of the changes. In practice, there is influence political changes may interlink. Economic and social issues are often focused on the political policies. Also, political issues you can't ignore. Sometimes the economic and social changes depend on the political changes. There is, if there is some political policy changes is happening, the, uh, there should be need, need of the change in the law because political policies has some impact or influence on the economic and social issues. Now come what is law, what is actually law means, law may be defined as a body of rules created by the state, country, binding with the jurisdiction, enforced with the authority of the state through the use of section, there is some section, use of section, law is binding, rules and regulation which is happening. Analysis of definition of law, if I can break down the definition, the first thing is we find there is a rules. What is rules? Rules are the common aimed at the regulating behavior. Rules tell us what we can do, which cannot do. So what does the rules mean? Rules means that you can do these things, you can't do these things. So rules is the, uh, give you a guideline what you can do, which you cannot do. Sometimes they may be permit behavior subject to fulfill a condition. Sometimes it can give you, uh, permit, give you some permission that what you can do if you can accomplish this goal. Rule can sometimes give you the uh, behavior, what will be your expected behavior, what will be your ideal behavior for completing these tasks. For example, extension of business premises in the legal unless, unless planning permission is obtained. You can extend your business premises but you need to get permission by, from, uh, if you don't get the legal permission, this will not legal. So I can extend my business, I can expand my business, but I need to get take some legal permission from the state, uh, from the registration office, sometimes from the which is uh, which I which industry I am operating. If there is industry is is allocated to different ministry, I need to get take permission from that ministry that I am expanding the business in here to there. So they will know their business is in that place, this business is operating, so they have the idea what you are doing. So this legal permission is so important, important without taking the legal permission, no business can run. A shop may not be sell alcohol without a license. Selling alcohol is uh, forbidden, but if you can take the license, sometimes you can sell the. So if you can sell the medicine, that time you also take the license, that is things. Created by the state, parliamentary is responsible for creating most of the law applicable in the UK. Such law is called an act of parliamentary of state, where the law is created. Law is the created in the parliament of the state. Or that, our the shongsho dache shekhane bill gula shab pasho. Even the state, the parliament house create all the law. An analysis and definition of law, the jurisdiction of the state, which, which is the ju uh, jurisdiction of the state, the law of any country binding only in the its territory. The territory, what is the law, uh, in Bangladeshi law is applicable in the, only with the our territory area. After our territory area, this law is not applicable. There is some international law which is applicable for all, but basically law in, of the state <coughs> is applicable only to its own territory. The parliament may introduce law applicable to that country, enforcement, illegal dispute may require formal resolution by the court, tribunal, the state party dispute may initiate the enforced proceeding, a section of penalty may be imposed in order to compensate the injury party and punish the wrong order. The in, the in section we can say that who are doing this, they will be punished and from uh, to whom the injustice is happening, they will compensate in some extent to the implication of this law. 
no one is above the rules of law this is the main focus the basis of rules of law is the concept of equality of all person before law why do we need law why we need do law an efficient industrial state require a complex system of law which aim to fulfill a number of purpose to provide government a structure legislation procedure and constitution law an efficient industrial state require a complex system of law which aim to fulfill the number of purpose to provide government structure legislation procedures and constitution government structure legislation procedures and constitution of law to provide, to provide public service to raise tax or to pay for them administration and tax law no? to regulate and promote the economy administration civil and criminal law are involved to promote public order and preserve national security and criminal law so law is basically needed for the maintain the peace of the society so that the society can run smoothly for the growth of the society for the for sake of the earning of the society or earning of the state with there was a tax law you can earn the money the government can accumulate the fund of his running of the state and the civil and criminal law civil and criminal law is so important criminal law which uh, what is criminal law doing we through the criminal law implication people are have a fear they will not do any criminal activities they will stop it so the society can the, the society people can live peacefully and the civil law make us more civil we cannot speed off in the road we cannot make we cannot violate the traffic rules so that everyone's movement is smooth the country is not my own property we are living to here we need to follow some civic rules so that the society is a better place for us to give individual member personal right if if there is a law the personal rights have to be served if everybody is practicing the law and the law implication is then a proper way all other all the people's rights are preserved rights and duty in relation to other enable personal inform, enforcement of this right the civil law civil law duties may arise through agreement between the parties the law of contract the impose of the direct law of tort what is the civil law if i have and you have an agreement for a simple example i can take i have a house i want to give you rent if there is an agreement you will pay me the rent on 5th of this month every every 5th of this of the month also you cannot do any unethical things in my premises you are promised to do so so if there is an agreement so there is a clear view that what you can do we cannot do and which is maintaining by the both parties to give legal validity to approved relationship transaction between the member of the society this involves the law of contract the law of property succession company partnership law and the family law now why what is the difference between the criminal law and civil law it is important for the outset to understand the difference between the civil law and the criminal law dual liability of the breach of both civil law and criminal law may arise from the set some set of facts but since these two branches of the law have very different purpose they are produce penalties different from radically the following example is state the crucial differences are if treated in a fancy lunch at a fat box of humaira subsequently both arif and humaira become ill with the food of poisonity which they claim the cause of the inse- insincerity condition of the fat box kitchen that both uh, arif and humaira both taking the lunch from the fat box company but they sometimes the food, uh, one day the food is poisoned because of their insincerity because they are not maintain the way it should be maintained state works state versus fat box selling impure food of criminal office under the food safety act 1990 it is interest of the public safety to control public such behavior in sort of cases fed box may prosecuted in the magistrate court to the local authority trading standard department rather than by the police the burden of providing fed box skill lies on the prosecutor who prove beyond the reasonable doubt prove that the food is poisoned caused by the condition of the food in fed box is found guilty he may 
spend or jail period period of time both a fine sum of money payable to the court it does not victim the crime now humaira versus fat box and arif versus fat humaira and arif want compensation for having have been made ill both self employed in addition to the pain and inconvenience of their illness they have lost lost standing of their laid off two separate claim are involved humaira who bought the food will sue the branch of con, uh, contracts as the food are very clearly not satisfactory quality arif who has harmed by the food but not the court with the fat box contact with the fat box will claim sue claiming negligence and breach of customer protection act 1987 humaira and arif Arif will bring a take action. Will have a proof to the balance of pro probability of fat box cause their problem. This lower standard proof that require criminal proceeding. As the court required to prove only that is the more likely not the fat box responsible. In who, if Humaira Arif win, the damage will be payable to the them by fat box compensate them their pain, suffering, economic losses resulting for it, including medical cost, loss of earning. Humaira will also able to. reclaim cost of the meal also ekon how law is made parliament of law is made in the parliament most english law currently made in the authority of parliament directly in case of bangladesh also legislation compromise act of parliament created by the passage bill through certain prescribed process house of commons the house of lords indirect legislation created by the body which has been uh, powered the legislation by the parliament under the enabling act the court the law is made by the court in case of law sometimes is uh, sometimes the description of common law until 19th century the court were primary law maker but were uh, superseded by the parliament since social condition required different style of law making since most law is not statutory the court will mainly concerned with the interruption application of the point of law act of parliament and delegation of legislation the law hierarchy the district court that is then supreme court then the supreme court and appeal division law building proceeding when the exercise exercising either there is a creative interactive function judge are bound by the law and binding precedent under english law judge are not necessarily entitled to make their own decision about the development inter interpretation of the law they have been bound to decision in recent previous cases two factors are crucial to determine whether they are precedent previous juridical decision and binding the position in the court hierarchy inferior court are bound by the decision and superior court whether the current case come with the scope of principle of law in the previous decision this is the essential legal term which you have learned after finishing this chap uh, before finishing this chapter i have some important point to discuss in this which topics you need to cover i will just telling you that so that you can concentrate on this topic first of all why you need to do business law you can write all these things why the law is changing over that period of time what is law how we can analyze is the definition of law why do you need law what is the difference between criminal law and civil law that's all for this chapter next day we'll cover the chapter 2 thank you